live blood cells. I want to explain to you what you're looking at here. So can you see the, um, looks like spider webby black stuff in the background? That indicates liver stress. The red blood cells are the other main part of the picture. The red blood cells are, are kind of squished together. They're meant to be round and floating freely. But instead, for this person, they are stuck together and they're squished. This, in medical terminology, this is called rouleau formula, formation and it's not healthy. It indicates massive stress in the body and it's a precursor to a lot of diseases that we know about in our culture, chronic diseases. And so I know that this person has liver stress, but this person did not drink any alcohol, take any drugs over the counter or otherwise, or smoke. So why was their liver stressed? Their own stress hormones. Stress hormones, the own chemicals their own, her own body was making, her own stress hormones were stressing her liver as if she were smoking a pack a day and drinking a bottle of whiskey every night. That's how stressed this liver is. Are you with me? So stressed that her red blood cells, when you look at it, it's like they're scared to death, aren't they? They're like, shh, they're huddling together like little masses. I know that this person was stressed because this was my blood work 13 years ago. And it was just a period of time in my life that was really stressful. You might relate. Have you had a stressful period in your life? Well, there you go. We all have them. So th some of the particulars, just so you can relate, uh, I, was supporting, I was supporting a husband through a bankruptcy and two business failures. I had a son who was six who needed special needs at school. It was up to me to provide all of the income to support that whole shebang. That's stressful, isn't it? But here was what most stressful for me. The most stressful thing I realized was the stories I kept telling myself about it over and over and over and over. And all of the predictions of terrible futures that I kept telling myself over and over and over. Have any of you done that? This is where the stress really came from. It didn't come from working so hard. Some of it did, working long hours. Some of it came from that. But what really the stress came from was what I kept doing to myself. So when I saw this, very humbling for someone like me because I know better. So it's even worse. Like, I should know better but I was doing that to myself. As Soon as I saw that slide, I took myself on a 10-day retreat. I, did, I ate clean, which I already was eating clean, and I did everything I'm teaching you today. I did the breathing, I did the stretching, I did a meditation, which I will teach you in a minute, specifically, a specific meditation. You wanna see what my blood looked like in just 10 days' time? Get ready, ready, get your eyes on the screen. Right. That is my blood right there. It's, yeah, I love, my blood is taking a bow. <laughs> and so for those of you who may not remember from science class, just to let you know, the, everyone always goes, what's that big one? The big funky looking one on the left there? That's a macrophage, which is part of the immune system, and it's like a white blood cell. It's meant to be kind of funky looking like that. The rest of them, look how happy they are. They have halos even, they're so happy. This is how quickly and how powerfully the mind can work. Your body is a self-healing mechanism. It's always finding ways to heal itself if you will stop interfering with stressful thoughts and stressful living. So you too, you could go from as bad as this to this, just with the power of your mind. It's worth doing, isn't it? It's worth doing when you know it can be just like this. And this is not news. The Buddha said, we are what we think. All that we are arises with our thoughts. With our thoughts, we make the world. Sobering.